a question we commonly encounter here at the garden is, can I grow orchids on my fruit tree? And the answer is an emphatic yes. The first thing you need to do when selecting a fruit tree is the location on the tree in which you want to attach the orchid. We can use a number of fruit trees that we have commonly grown here in Southern Florida. This right here is a avocado tree, but they're just as good as mangoes, citrus, and a wide variety of other tropical hardwoods. The first thing you wanna do is select the right spot based on the type of orchid you have. So today we're gonna to plant three types of orchids that grow on different locations on your fruit tree. So the first one we're gonna be growing is one that should be common and familiar to most people is the Phalaenopsis. This is a seedling Phalaenopsis. Often you'll see them on the side of the roads or in floral shops and commonly used as uh, ornamental plants. Once they're finished flowering, say on your dinner room table, a great location for them to live out the rest of their years will be on your fruit tree. So for this group of orchids, they prefer shady, low to intermediate light levels. So we suggest planting them near the trunk of the tree where they're gonna get plenty of canopy cover and or on the trunk or on crotches or little pieces of structure near the trunk. These are gonna be the shadier locations and provide that adequate protection from the sun. Another good indicator of a great place to grow orchids on your fruit tree is the presence of lichen. This is this green algae fungal interaction. They'll appear to be blotches of green, whites, yellows on your trunk. What these do is these organisms will signify uh, the areas of the tree which have typically moister and shadier conditions. So if you see the lichen, that's a great area to attach an orchid. So we're gonna plant this little guy directly onto this little horizontal branch near the scar from where another branch was cleared off. You'll notice here it creates a bit of a ledge and that's great because it'll give more places for your orchid roots to attach, but also it'll appear to be more natural. So the first thing you wanna do when you get your orchids, you're gonna prep it accordingly. Most likely this Phalaenopsis is gonna be in a pot with some type of media, a sphagnum moss or a bark mix. You're gonna to wanna to remove that. You're gonna want your roots of your orchid completely bare of all media. You're also gonna to wanna to look for the growing tips. So the green growing tips of your orchid, the new roots, and these tips are gonna be what attaches to the bark. Unfortunately, the old roots, even though they're still good for taking up water and nutrient from the environment and functional, they're not the ones that are gonna do the clinging and the grasping onto the bark of the tree. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just place your orchid, try to think like the orchid we say. We're gonna today gonna use brown zip ties. We like to use the brown zip ties. Unlike wire, they're not going to girdle your tree or grow into the tree. Camouflaged, they blend in with the background and also they're strong. Good to bear in mind, they'll degrade usually in about a year to a year and a half. They'll snap on their own and fall off. Usually the orchid's attached by then and you're fine to go ahead and snip the zip tie once the roots have all tightly attached to the tree. Another product we do also suggest when attaching orchids um, is the jute twine or burlap twine. This is a plant-based product. It's not going to be as strong for heavier bodied plants as a plastic zip tie. Biodegradable, environmentally friendly. It will deteriorate in about nine months or so, by then your orchids attach, you don't have to go back and cut a zip tie or pick up the litter. It's fairly simple. You're gonna always wanna look to anchor the orchid and the, the bind closest to the strongest point of the plant. And this is gonna be where the stem and the roots meet. And this is typical for most orchids. That's gonna be the strong point. And you're just gonna wanna get that zip tie fashioned on the strong point, And you're gonna to wanna to orient it up. You don't want the leaves pressed against the bark that's gonna promote a rot. They're not gonna have a chance to get the airflow. The new root tips are making direct contact with the bark. That's gonna speed up and quicken your attachment phase. You're gonna to wanna to do a little quality control check. So you're gonna tap it a few times to make sure it doesn't move. Tighter the better uh, without snapping and breaking through the orchid itself. You can clean off your zip tie. You're going to do a heavy watering um, and you're gonna water every day, at least once a day, until the roots begin to completely attach to the tree or firmly attached. For something like a Phalaenopsis or a, some of these ornamental orchids you can find, you can fertilize them um, periodically with a half strength 20-20-20 or some commercial orchid fertilizers fine as well. Planting these guys on your fruit trees, I don't see they'll, think there'll be any problem with you guys having success attaching these orchids to your fruit trees at home. All right, well we just showed you how to attach one of your shade loving orchids to a fruit tree. But now I'm gonna show you how to, uh, selecting uh, maybe a orchid that needs a little bit more sun, um, such as the Oncidinae. This is a Miltonia, it's in the class with the Oncidium orchids. They prefer medium to high levels of light depending on what type you have. So now we're going to try to select a branch that's closer to the tips, to the ends of the branches, 
something that's a horizontal branch, which is going to get some partial sun, but will have escape from the, the sh deep shade of the canopy. Well, again, we're looking for those indicators, those lichens, and here we go. You can see the little lichens growing right on the branch. And we're going to go ahead and attach the orchid very similar to what we did with the uh, Phalaenopsis. We're going to remove all of the media, excess media, to get the roots bare and clean. We're then going to place the orchid as natural looking as possible, oriented on the tree. We're going to again use one of our zip ties for this heavier bodied orchid. The seedlings, again, you can use the, the jute twine or the sisal string. And we're going to run that right through the center mass. The strongest point's gonna be where the stem and those roots meet. And we're just going to zip tie it firmly onto that tree. Much like we do the other one, we give it the quality control test. It does not move a little tighter. And that orchid is good to go. These orchid roots, you can kind of drape a little bit over the bark, but again, the new root tips are gonna be what attaches. Just like the Phalaenopsis, you're gonna to wanna to hit this guy with water every day. Consistent daily watering is really gonna enhance the, the attachment phase of your orchid and you can periodically feed them fertilizer. So another really interesting, unique thing you can do with your fruit trees is you can attach and grow vanilla orchid. A lot of folks don't know that vanilla is from and derived from an orchid, an orchid vine called the vanilla. And here we have a little vanilla seedling. These, these seedlings are also available like all of our plants we showed you today on our online sales at Fairchild webpage. These can be planted at the base of your tree by simply digging a small hole, placing the trellis or the growing end of your vanilla right up against the trunk of the tree and wrapping it on and fastening it with the jute twine or with a zip tie. This orchid then will grow and creep up your tree over the next several years and one day if you're lucky produce the flower which is very fragrant as well as an edible fruit. Uh, the vanilla bean itself. So attaching vanillas to your fruit tree is a great way to enhance your fruit trees and keeping with the theme of some of our tropical edible plants. I hope this helped you guys today learn more about how to plant orchids on your fruit trees. If you need any inspiration or you want some helpful tips, please come out to Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden and hope to see you soon.